Shalom, giving all honor, glory, and praises to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, and HaKadash. Double honors to the head apostles and elders of great millstone who rule well and teach well. Peace, love, and salutations to the Hofi elect scattered throughout the four corners of the earth, teaching the knowledge, truth, sincerity, and diligence for the sake of Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. Lord, willing this lesson may be edifying and straight to the point, which, you know, we're going to entitle this lesson, The Root of Wisdom is to Fear the Lord. It's in fearing the Lord is ultimately how you obtain wisdom. And wisdom is going to play a big role in your defense in these times that we're living in. Which, you know, the masses of the people have, they trust in their faith and money. Well, when the money crashes, money is no longer going to be a defense for you. It's all going to roll over to having the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of the Lord. Let's see. I'm going to start in verse um, Isaiah 33 and 6. He's saying, wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times. You see? Wisdom is going to be your stability in the times that we coming in, man. Because once the dollar crash, the dollar is no longer going to be a stability. You see, people ain't going to be, you know, probably trade money to burn it to stay warm at night. You know, but ultimately you having money, they give you a million dollars for a piece of bread. Where well, that, that money is not going to be worth that. It's Money is not going to be worth more than eating in these times, man. You know. So you say wisdom and knowledge should be the stability at our time. And these the wisdom and knowledge you get is, you know, comes from Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah. Comes by fearing him. You see, he said, and strength of salvation. The fear of the Lord is his treasure. You see? So this is ultimately how you obtain that wisdom, which is going to roll over to your stability. Ultimately, by fearing Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah, this is what's going to keep you, you know, in these perilous times. Which perilous mean, meaning dangerous and risky. Uh, risky uh, dangers and risk you see so we living in a time now with danger is lurking on at every corner and it's fastly approaching well you know uh, you're going to have to start you know taking taking uh, risk man you know and you're going to need your how about Shemel Shah shot ultimately to lead you and guide you man through these times so this uh, Proverbs 4 and, 4 and 5 he said get wisdom Get understanding, forget it not. Neither decline from the words of my mouth. Forsake her not, and she shall preserve thee. Love her, and she shall keep thee. You see? And this talking about wisdom, man. You should want to be preserved ultimately from these times, man, where you see the the stage of a great famine taking place here in America, man. Well, you should want to be preserved from that, man, because the Lord said that he was going to feed his uh, servants, man. You know? So you should, you know, want to grind ten times harder to ultimately the, uh, have that mercy from Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah. You see, verse 7, he said, Wisdom is the principal thing, therefore get wisdom, and with all that getting, get understanding, man. See, let's go here. Proverbs 6 and verse 22. He said, When thou goest, it shall lead thee, you see? When thou sleepest, it shall keep thee, and when thou awakest, it shall talk with thee. For the commandment is a lamp, and the law is light, and reproof of instruction are the way of life. So this wisdom is ultimately going to keep you and protect you, man, in these times that we're coming into, protect you from that evil man, you know, who is Esau. You see, he said, to keep thee from the evil, uh, so like, let's go, um, Psalms 140. Believe 146. It's probably 145. Um, so like it, bear with me. Who is that? Oh, I believe it's 140. So like, bear with me. I'm trying to find it. Yeah, Psalms 140 and 1. Deliver me, O Lord, from the evil man. Preserve me from the violent man. Right? Which that evil and violent man is ultimately Esau. The one who, you know, who's ultimately going to come down with that great wrath, man. And that's who we're looking to be preserved from. It say, which imagine mischief in their heart continue are they gathered together for war. Yeah. And that's ultimately the damn devil Esau Edom, man, which he's going to soon come down and made war with the woman, man. And that woman is Israel, man. 
So you're going to need the Lord, Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh ultimately to protect you and to step in on your behalf in these times, which is going to come by way of his wisdom, man. You no know, Lord willing, he was edified through the spirit of Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh until next time. I say shalom.